It's a word no passenger wants to hear on an airplane, emergency. While having an exceptional flight crew is great, sometimes we forget about the crew on the ground. Fox 14's Judd Baker shows us how fire crews prepare for the worst. You turn to the right, you're discharging bottle two in the left engine. Amarillo firefighters familiarize themselves with the McDonnell Douglas DC-9 aircraft. It's a part of their annual aircraft rescue and firefighter training at Rick Husband Amarillo International Airport. And really what we're looking at is uh, some of the critical components that, that, are, that are for us as the firefighters that would respond to a, an incident. That includes fire suppression systems, emergency exits, and any other assistance they would need to handle an emergency at the airport. Captain Cobo with the Amarillo Fire Department says they previously used another type of aircraft that was more disabled. But this DC-9 from the Texas Air and Space Museum in Amarillo has more intact components, which he says helps them to better prepare. We, we do a lot of classroom study, but getting your hands on that equipment, actually seeing how a battery disconnects, actually seeing, you know, some of the emergency exits also, and, and seeing that real time helps us to kind of solidify the train that we're doing in the classroom. Annual trainings like these are required by the Federal Aviation Administration, and Captain Koba says it's always vital to have a plan in case of an emergency. And we want to plan everything, whether it be an aircraft emergency, a structural fire, uh, the wildfire danger. We, having that plan before it actually happens allows us to be able to be in a more proactive stance. This is part of our planning process, including the classroom training, and then an ongoing annual training that we're doing uh, quarterly and, and you know and, uh, throughout the month and days. Now, Jackie, some brief history behind this DC-9. It's changed hands four times over the, fast, over the past 50 some odd years. First ordered by Texas International Airways, it flew for two other airlines, an NHL hockey team, and then was donated to the Texas Air and Space Museum in 2016. Live in studio, Judd Baker, Fox 14 News. Jackie. Judd, thank you. The aircraft is one of the 976 DC-9s built between 1965 and 1982.